Depression is the leading cause of disability in the world. In the United States, close to 10% of adults struggle with depression. But because it's a mental illness, it can be a lot harder to understand than, say, high cholesterol. One major source of confusion is the difference between having depression and just feeling depressed. Almost everyone feels down from time to time. Getting a bad grade, losing a job, having an argument, even a rainy day can bring on feelings of sadness. Sometimes there's no trigger at all. It just pops up out of the blue. Then circumstances change, and those sad feelings disappear. Clinical depression is different. It's a medical disorder, and it won't go away just because you want it to. It lingers for at least two consecutive weeks and significantly interferes with one's ability to work, play, or love. Depression can have a lot of different symptoms. A low mood, loss of interest in things you'd normally enjoy, changes in appetite, feeling worthless or excessively guilty, sleeping either too much or too little, poor concentration, restlessness or slowness, loss of energy, or recurrent thoughts of suicide. If you have at least five of those symptoms, according to psychiatric guidelines, you qualify for a diagnosis of depression. Depression is a common mental disorder. Globally, more than 264 million people of all ages suffer from depression. Depression is a leading cause of disability worldwide and is a major contributor to overall global burden of disease. Depression can lead to suicide. More women are affected by depression than men, but according to study, there's more men commit suicide than women. Depression and suicidal is a serious topic. Recently, my favorite YouTuber Marshall Hodge tackled the issue of suicidal in India. Indian parents put a lot of pressure on their kids to become a doctor or an engineer and glorify these two professions above all others. It's like if their child is anything other than a doctor or engineer, then they're a failure. These expectations can cause serious mental health problems amongst students. A student commits suicide every hour in India, as well as thousands of others feeling depressed and on the brink of suicide. When I heard about this, I wanted to learn more about where this tremendous mental health crisis was stemming from. Many people are suffering from depression, and they commit suicide. They need psychiatric care and proper treatment. If you know someone who is suffering from depression, what are you going to say to them? Life is not over yet. There are lots of things, beautiful things that will be happening with you in the future. So just hold in there and do not hold it inside of you. Perhaps share it with someone who might help you. Self-killing is not a reason. Actually, uh, there is one proverb in my country. Uh, if you have hundred reason to kill yourself there is thousand reasons to live there is yourself also so we just hope uh, good things will come in soon this will be here touches base because actually my one of my family members was depressed and they took their life for for being depressed if you are depressed always remember you are not alone don't hide right don't blame yourself for the things that happen around you Everybody is there. We are all here for you. We are listening to you. A sensitive topic, but maybe I'm not also in the position to really give advice. But um, for me, uh, the best thing to do is to talk to your family, to your loved ones, and express what you feel. Because if you keep it to yourself, then the more you feel you know, depressed and sad, but the, really the big, big, biggest support that uh, we can, you know, count on or, you know, rely to is our family because our family will accept us from whoever we are. And definitely they will support you and give their best to help you go through this challenge. And just be happy. Life is beautiful. So just, just enjoy life and don't worry too much. And, you know, problem will just, 
you know, we'll just go and life will go on. And please continue praying because God will really help you and give you guidance. Open your eyes and look at other people's issues and other people's problems. So when, when you will uh, really, when you will look at the other people's problem, you will realize that your issue is a very simple issues. I think as a human being, yes, we know we have depression in our lives, yes, at the end of the day. But it's good to share with others, more so like people who are so close to you, like friends or relatives, that you feel that you trust them with the information. Because when you share, however much the difficult the situation might be, you might find a solution out of that. But people who tend to, call, uh, to commit suicide out of depression is because they don't expose themselves, or maybe they don't express themselves to the people they life. Because at the end of the day, Depression doesn't just come like just at a coincidence, no, it's because of something. So always find to address the root cause. For example, if you have a problem, speak to your friends, speak to your parents or your family members so that at least they can find a solution. But if you keep quiet definitely, then you will definitely take a decision on your own and you can take your life away. Of which the issue would be maybe solved if you have shared with a friend. Um. I think the life which God and our mother and father give to us is a precious and the most important in our life is a life, to be alive. Uh, so whatever is bringing you to depression, it's temporary. Tomorrow will be better, tomorrow will be another day. You always need to talk with your friends, family. Uh, you, you cannot lose this valuable thing which is life and follow your feelings which is you have now. You need to think about future, <laughs> a bright future actually. Nothing is so bad. And there are a lot of countries and a lot of people who feel worse than you are now. So you just need to remember about these things, that you have only one life. <laughs> I think this one is most important. So I will suggest them to not think always the, uh, the negative things, okay? Be positive and involved with the anything so your mind is their mind is will not every time to one side if they have some problem just seek advice from others and also uh, don't let them feel that they're alone there are always someone with them they can ju just or if they want they can just write a letter and uh, while writing it put all the hatreds there or whatever they're thinking then later on just uh, put it in fire and it will be gone. Very difficult question for me because for myself I never be depressed. I cannot be at all. <laughs> because I take everything lightly. Like whatever problem that you will face in your life, you need to take it lightly first thing and second thing um, committing suicide or any kind of attempt to suicide or doing harming yourself will not solve the problem you need to find the solution for that and if in case if you go to some other person there are lots of people in this world to help you out for your problems and to find a solution for you do not give up ever so going to depression is not a solution you need to get a help from someone else or you need to share you need to open up yourself otherwise there won't be anyone to help you uh, it depends what is the problem what is his problem like what what you mean problem uh, at work a problem money or something if you can help him if problem in money of course you're supposed to help him this is what a, a to b you know if he has problem in his work you have to give him the advice about his work what is the problem and you have to listen to him and to give him the advice from your opinion also this is what i can say depression uh, you know, for sure if you're living in far away from your family and you have a, a nine to six saw for sure you will have a depression the best thing to kill the depression uh, give some time for yourself go out with your friends okay and uh, don't be uh, like a robot a nine to six duty and come to the sh uh, come to the home sleep and wake up early in the morning go again so give some time for yourself also go outing to do some entertaining with your friends and it will you know help you you know to kill your depression I don't depress always be happy i say always be happy 
It's all about uh, counseling uh, because different people have different type of uh, understanding and uh, the way they perceive it, they perceive things. Uh, but no matter what situation you find yourself, you have to, you need to have faith in God and believing that one day it will be better. Um, having it in mind that your situation is not the most worst that have people their own is worse than yours so you get to live your life until god is the giver of life he is the one that take it take it so you can uh, it's a very big uh it's a abomination for you to take off your life uh, uh suddenly like that so life is a beautiful place enjoy your life i just like to say is about people are just get there is both only one time in the world right so need no need to hurry no need to worry just enjoy the life i just want to say never give up so you get the one life you can repeat it again your life just keep the smile problem is like a temporary everything so need to enjoy the life not that does. the failure is the best uh, teacher so if someone depressed from anyhow but the failure is the best teacher you learn from it and go and move on it's uh, it's a part of life so don't stay on one uh, in one place you just move on make yourself happy today. all passing don't worry all passing just focus on your life okay see around around uh, your own uh, Happiness. What, what's